Hi, good morning. My name is Karen O'Brien and I am one of the sales representatives for the fabulous company, Fresh Pet. Um, thank you so much for having me here. I really appreciate it. Uh, I love the Pet Nutrition Center. I come here all the time for my treats, for my dog treats. Um, so I just wanted to like uh, thank you for inviting me and to tell you a little bit about what our product is and how we make it and what our company is like. Um, at our company, we believe that our pets are our family. I mean, they are a part of our lives every single day, all day long. They're part of graduations and wedding photos and everything. Part of all of the posts. That's some of the most popular posts on social media is with your pet. So um, that's a huge thing. And all of us at our company are dog obsessed, pet obsessed, uh, and obsessed with finding the best nutrition and creating the best product and the best nutrition for our dogs so they can be around longer, so we can have them in their lives longer, just like you would anybody else. And there's been a lot of studies done on how nutrition plays a huge part in the longevity and health of our animals and our pets and ourselves too, so <laughs> we're not we're not allowed to that. Because at our company, we believe that um, creating the healthiest, best diet is, is the most important thing in their lives. And because we do believe that you are what you eat. We love Cookie Monster, <laughs> but he's a Cookie Monster because he eats cookies all the time. I think you get the picture. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, it's all natural. Uh, preservative-free, locally sourced uh, products. Um, like I said, like all of the farmers, and we get all of our locally sourced farms as much as we can. Cranberries, blueberries, spinach, uh, eggs, everything. They're all part of our pet family too. I mean, it's really pretty great. We've got a group of people, everyone from the drivers, uh, people in the kitchens, to, um, to the farmers, everyone. That's all part of our big pet, fresh pet family. It's pretty nice. Um, again, the number one ingredient in our food, the number one ingredient in our food is always chicken or salmon or beef. Um, and it's US raised. Um, we steam cook that at a, at a really low temperature, but it's, it locks in all the nutrients. So all of that food is fresh and cooked. And then we seal it in vacuum sealed bags. We put those immediately on refrigerated trucks and then send them out to the 20,000 refrigerators that we have all over the country and they're located at Target and Walmart and Ralph's and Vons and Stater Brothers and Albertsons and you just name it, there's Petco, <laughs> there's so many places. Um, we would love to be in your center as well. We hope that you will uh, take us on. Um, it, is, it really is a great option. It's, it's as easy as kibble. You just rip open the bag, scoop it, put it in your hand. There's, there's guidance on how much to feed your dog. Um, so you don't have any mess, you don't have to cook the food, you don't have to like, you know, it takes all the mystery out of it. We've worked with veterinarians um, from across the world who have come up with the best recipes for us to go ahead and give our dogs the, me the most nutritious, uh, healthiest diet meal plan that they can have and sustain. Um, and because it's so available everywhere, it really becomes something that, you know, it's a, it's a product that, you know, you, everybody has access to all the time, which is fantastic. So you're not like, oh my God, I ran out of chicken. I, I gotta go, oh my God, I don't have enough beef for dinner tonight. Well, you do, because we, we've got it already made for you. That's so why it's nice and easy. You don't have to worry about cooking it. It's grain free and it's also non-GMO. So this is all great, no allergies. You don't have to worry about any of that. All of that's taken out. You don't have no fillers, no meat byproducts, none of that. Just a really healthy uh, meal plan. And so part of that is we believe that there's about four main nutri nutritious things that need to be in everyone's diet. And that is, um, first of all, locally sourced protein like beef, chicken, and salmon. That's what we use. And then we have fiber sources, so which is really important for your dog. So broccoli, corn, oats, um, sweet potatoes is another one. That's a great one um, and loaded with vitamins and minerals. Um, also for carbs, also in addition to sweet potato, we've got rice and potato. And then we have the calcium, of course, because that's super important. So eggs and spinach, and again, locally sourced. I mean, it's great, it supports the farmers, supports the US. It's really, really lovely. It's a really good group. Uh, no meat powders, meal byproducts, anything like that should not be in your dog food. And I'm gonna just give a quick little rundown on what that is. That is basically a meat byproduct or uh, the meat powders that they have. That's basically the bottom of like the, the things that are inedible for human consumption 
from the bottom of a floor of a slaughterhouse. It really is. And they, they take it away, they, they use everything, um, whatever's there, they take it away and they process that highly in high heat situations. They have to add chemicals to go ahead and even make it uh, to store and to like, you know, make it, I guess, edible. <laughs> but edible doesn't mean nutritious. And so that's a big part of what's in kibble right now. So um, that's not nutritious, that's not food. If it's not, if it's not, we can't consume it as human beings. Our dogs should not be eating it. They should not be subjected to it. I'm just saying. So, and there's chemicals and additives and all that. So we just serve healthy food at our company. That's all we put in our thing. So what's in kibble? Well, I just told you some meat byproducts and meal powders and all of that. And I understand, I understand because it, it's easy to store. It, it's easy to process. Um, they don't have to worry about anything going bad. But in our, in our place, <laughs> I was gonna say in our kitchen, in our kitchens, um, literally we, everything is, is brought in every day fresh and we cook it fresh that day and then we package it and ship it out. And that's how we roll. The kibble can be around forever. And it was intended to be that way, right? So here's some of the things that are in kibble. Um, I'm not even going to try. I've already attempted to try to, to pronounce it, to enunciate them. I can't even say that word. Um, but if you see this in your, on your ingredient list, this should not be on there. If you see that on your dog food uh, that you have currently, um, it should not be there. These, these are not for consumption. These are not healthy for your dog. They do nothing for your dog. There's nothing nutritious. There's no value here. So this is something to consider. And they also, oh, sorry, those are, it's the kibble face. <laughs> That's my friend's dog. Um, where's the beef? <laughs> right. So they also, with the kibble, they go ahead and uh, they spray it with a, a beef flavor or a chicken flavor. So it coats the kibble so the, the dogs can smell that. It's very, you know, it's, it's, a, it's an additive, but it, uh, again, no nutrition. So what illnesses can dogs get from poor nutrition? Well, it's awful. Like what they can get is like what we get. Obesity, <laughs> pancreatitis, diabetes, gastrointestinal illness, um, heart disease, cancer, skin and fur conditions, allergies, it goes on and on. Dental issues, really bad dental issues. Um, so all these things are really important. Uh, we, we lose our dogs because of these things and this should not be happening. We can prevent that a ton by feeding them healthy, nutritious food. And that's what we are dedicated to doing. And that's all we do. Otherwise you have like this sand dog. <laughs> it doesn't feel good, that's not good. And it also is really expensive. I mean, nobody wants the, on top of adoring your dog, feeling horrible that your dog is sick. And then you have these horrible, expensive, outrageous vet bills. Um, and then you're making these decisions that nobody wants to make um, regarding their dog. So like consider, you know, altering, like maybe just, even if you just did 20% of their diet, as, as fresh pet or fresh food, it would make a huge difference in your dog's life. Because again, you only get fresh, healthy food. And again, when I tried fresh pet from my dog the first time, he got a happy, healthy dog, for sure. Um, but I tried doing the kibble and mix and he would just pick around the kibble after a while and it was sort of pretty funny, Mr. Picky Pants. I don't blame him. He realized that he was getting real food and that's all he wanted. It makes sense. So here's, here's a picture, <laughs> that's, that's the food that you get. Literally, it's in our kitchen right now. That's what we cook. It's fresh, real food, real ingredients, things that you recognize, things that you would find in your refrigerator. And with that, you'll get shinier coats, healthier skin, improved dental health, increased energy. Um, I've heard amazing stories from so many. We have over a million cut stories right now, which is pretty outstanding and um, and growing and we hear story after story about people whose dogs were like really old and didn't have any pep in their step and then suddenly they switched their diet and they changed they had more excitement they were fetching again they were able to like walk a little further it makes a big difference i mean again if you compare ourselves with our diets and how we feel with a poor diet and how they feel with a, with a poor diet it's night and day so we just want to encourage you know everybody. Otherwise, so this is a this is the no fresh pet dog. <laughs> he's not he's not very happy. 
And then we have the fresh fed dog, yay! They're very happy because you're feeding them real food and, and they deserve that. So, um, so if your dog <laughs> was to go into your refrigerator, these are probably the things that he would be picking out to go in, to, to cook for himself. And I don't blame him or me, just eat, he probably wouldn't cook. But if he did cook it, not a contest, fresh pet would win. <laughs> so, um, again, this is refrigerated. It's in 20,000 locations all over the country. Um, Albertsons, Ralph's, Vons, Walmart, Petco, everywhere. And we would love to be in your store as well. I can totally picture it. I know the perfect spot for it to be in your store. Um, we would love for you to go ahead and consider having us. Um, again, we only use only the best ingredients that we can find. Every recipe starts with chicken, beef, or salmon, and um, it's all right here, grown and in the USA, which is important, because we are dedicated to bringing the power of fresh, real food to our pets. So I hope you will consider. I've left samples for everybody. I hope, and I've left my card. If you have any questions, please let me know. I would love to either like meet you up for a dog walk or to the dog park or whatever. And we can kind of chat a little bit more. If you're interested, please let us know. You got my information. Thank you so much for your time and have a great rest of your day. Thanks.